Hello curl friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jody, and it's great to have you join me today. So today we have a video introducing a product. This has actually been requested to me by one of my viewers to bring this to you. It's a newer product, not brand new, but newer. And it is the Shea Moisture Amala and Bond Repair Mask. And so we will be trying this out today. Actually, I've already washed and styled my hair, but I have it back behind here just to kind of reveal it later. So let's go over the specs of this product and then you'll see me applying it in the shower. I chose to do it in the shower today. Just this is only a five minute mask and I thought, you know what, why not? I felt like it was just going to be more simple. So let's jump, let's jump into the specs of this. This is the Shea Moisture Amla Oil Bond Repair Mask. It retails for $15.99. Nourish and visibly repair dry process strands with the Bond Repair Mask, part of a four-step system powered by Shea Moisture's Hydroplex Infusion for 84% less breakage and six times stronger hair. Our mask blended with Amla Oil of Fair Trade and Shea Butter and our unique amino blend helps to repair signs of damage, specifically in curly, coily hair. Transform your damaged brittle hair with this mask to reveal shiny renewed curls with 13 times ultra moisture. The directions say that after using the Bond Repair Shampoo and Conditioner, apply a generous amount to wet hair and use a wide tooth comb to distribute evenly from root to tip. Leave in 5 minutes, rinse thoroughly, and for best results, follow with the Bond Repair Leave-In Conditioner. So as I said, I've already actually applied this, so let's jump into the shower scenes. I'll talk a little bit more about my experience with this mask in there, and then we'll finish up back out here and I'll reveal my hair teeth. Okay, and welcome to my shower. So I'm getting ready to apply this mask, and first thing I do is I sniff it, because that's just what I like to do. And I do feel like this smells like a very warm, vanilla, perfumed scent. It's very mild in my opinion, but it smells delicious. I love the scent of this. Anyways, that's probably the best you'll ever get out of me of describing a scent, by the way. Anyways, this conditioner is very silky in the hands. It just glides easily on your hands and it disperses well throughout the hair. So I start working on this, like the mid shaft of my hair and down on the ends first. And then I'm going to flip to the other side, work it through there. I'm kind of doing a slight bit of finger detangling at this point, but not terribly much because I'm going to go in later with a detangling tool as well. And I'm going in with more. I said earlier, or maybe I say it later in the video, I'm not quite sure where. But anyways, my hair was really dry from a previous wash day experience. So it was just soaking this up. Usually my hair doesn't take that much deep conditioner, but it was just really soaking this up. Um, in the best way possible. So I have my look of concentration here as I'm applying this. I'm kind of laughing at myself, just trying to get it all over. And then I make this surprise look like I'm going in for more. I can't believe it. But like I said, this was just really soaking into my hair and it felt good applying it. So then I'm going to get a wide tooth comb or an old pick, I guess. The directions say use a wide tooth comb. And I'm just going to start detangling this through. And I'm going to kind of start in the middle and top and work down. I know you're supposed to technically start at the bottom. I just feel like it helps my curls kind of start to lay a little bit better if I work it in the way I do. And I'm gentle about it. I can feel when it's pulling too much or not, when if it's snagging my hair. Um, but this is just how I've always done it. So you can see by the time I flip over to the other side that it's my comb or pick is really just gliding through my hair. No tangles, no snags there at that point. So it's working in really well. And then I'm just going to clip it up in an alligator clip and let it sit on for the allotted amount of time. I think it's five minutes. And that was pretty much it. So I'm going to check back then once I have it, once I'm getting ready to actually I've once I've already washed it out, I had to think about what I, I had to think about the future of this video, sorry. So here I am back with it washed out. I'm trying to show you how sm silky smooth my hair feels. What I'm really showing is my hair looks like it's tangled again. Um, it really wasn't. My fingers were able to glide through very easily as you can see at this point. I'm showing you how much of the deep conditioner I used. So that pretty much sums it up. We will check back then. All right, curl friends, I am back with my hair fully diffused and styled, and let's take a closer look at these curls. This is what it looks like here and on the underside. I will say that the stylers I used were not my favorite. Should I have used something I was more familiar with? Yes, it wasn't my first time using these stylers. I'm not gonna reveal what it was, but um, it, it wasn't my favorite. 
but I think I can make a good determination on this mask even regardless of that I should say and then let's take a look at the back of the hair Okay, my curls are struggling to lay right today, no matter which way I put my part. I've got this weird piece here. This has nothing to do with today's uh, mask, but I got this weird piece here that apparently didn't get styled correctly, and it just wants to show off. And then these pieces just keep wanting to fall on my face, so I'll correct that later. But for the sake of this video, let's just analyze my hair, my curls. I will let you know that I had not used any bond repair or protein treatments on my hair for about a month. And so the previous wash that I did as well, my hair was very dry feeling. It was just kind of dry and brittle feeling. I had good curl clumps still at that point. My hair wasn't feeling like droopy or didn't really seem to have much breakage, but my hair was feeling very dry. And then I did go in with a clarifying shampoo as well because I wanted to have a fresh slate for this mask in particular. So I do love my results. I have very curly spirally bits and you know i have some areas that aren't quite as curly they're more like wavy-ish maybe some people would call it a curl but i do have some very good curl clumps in here my hair just looks healthy and shiny i do have the moisture again of course these areas are always my tightest curls but i have good spring brat spring back and everything so um some areas down here are very coily this sucker I don't know if you can see it very well but because it's darker but it is a very curly curl there you go that should be a good view of it I have some more of those back in here but overall I do love my results now I purchased this when Ulta was having a sale for some of their products and I think it was like 30% off so originally it retails for $15.99 I got mine for it was like $11, I think. Either way, those are pretty reasonable prices, especially in today's market. And you get 11 ounces in here, so this is going to last me forever. I, Especially with my stash, as I said it before. I did have to go in with more than I thought I would. Um, you saw me going in three times with this. I don't know if it was just because my hair was feeling so dried, plus when I used the clarifying conditioner, or clarifying shampoo, sorry. But I just felt like, it worked in well throughout my hair, but it just, I felt like I needed a lot of it just to quench my hair. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Probably any other day, I wouldn't have had to go in with quite so much, but my hair was in, it was in some need of some tender loving care from a conditioner and this provided. So not only did I get my moisture, I also got some strengthening properties in this. And yes, I do like this and I plan to keep it and look forward to using it again. So let me know, have any of you tried this before? I'd love to know your thoughts or if you're interested in trying it, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, I try to post curly hair content every Friday. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if this is something that you like, please consider subscribing, um, hit the little button here, the black subscribe button, and give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. So until I see you again next week, have a great day. Bye.